Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Ruben Torrens and before starting with the topic of this video, I'd like to uh, sort of apologize to you for not uh, publishing videos, for not posting videos uh, more often. And what happens is that about four weeks ago, my wife uh, retired and uh, we enjoying her retirement way too much this is a lot of fun something that we didn't expect and now we realize that after 40 years together first we were busy with kids and uh, raising kids and then we were busy with our own careers and now out of the sudden we had each other for 24 7 this is so great so we are in the honeymoon of retirement and enjoying it too much this is the reason why i'm not posting videos more often but today i have something exciting today i'm going to show you how mike and sue this time they by uh, drawing the proper the appropriate retirement income timeline they increase their lifetime income the retirement income by more than six thousand bucks per year and they expect they want to create retirement income for 25 years into retirement so that's like by simply doing the appropriate planning they increase their total income by 150 grand more than 150 thousand bucks in today's dollars but let me show you how this retirement income timeline works and when does it start when does it end because it covers a window of time and window of opportunity so the this window starts at age 65 you can retire at any age it doesn't really matter you can retire at 55 but the window will start at 65 why because at, 60, at age 65 this is when all the security start and when you can start deviating the things and taking advantage of tax credits and doing all this stuff that it lasts up to age 71. in the case of a couple it will start uh, when the oldest uh, partner, the oldest spouse, turns age 65 and will end when the youngest spouse turns age 71, which is at the point that you need to convert your registered investments, such as RRSPs or any employer pension you may have, into uh, uh, income vehicles, such as a reef or a leaf or whatever it is. But this is the window, and I will show you how I plan this for my clients. I've been doing this for over 30 years, and, and I've been doing it only for my investment clients so now i don't have any more investment clients i don't do investments anymore i'm retired from that activity and i'm doing what i love to do most which is uh, retirement income planning so let me show you the type of work that i do for my client the type of work that i've done for mike and sue not the real names of course what i do with uh, every client first is to have a meeting for give or take an hour uh, that's what, what normally lasts. And we, during this hour, we have a conversation where I learn more about the client, where I need learn everything that I need to learn. And then I compile all this, all this information that I gather into a worksheet in order to be able to uh, work out on different different models of retirement income. Uh, for Mike and Sue, I work out two models of retirement income, which I will share with you right now. So what information do I have? Well, Mike was born in December of 1958, and, and Sue uh, was born in uh, 1961, and they want to retire when Mike turns age 65. This is what they told me. So the Canada Pension Plan uh, a pension estimate shows that if they retire on uh, 2023 and in December of 2023 when Mike turns age 65, so as of January, because the pension starts the following month, uh, the, Mike, would, Mike would qualify for $1,000 of Canada Pension Plan, $1,023, and Sue will be age 62 at that time, and her uh, CPP will be $738. However, if they wait five years, if they retire, but they wait five years to take the, the benefit, and this is important, they retire, but they wait five years to take the benefit. They're not working, they're not making contrib any more contributions. So uh, Mike will be age 70 and he will uh, get $1,453 and Sue will be age 67 five years later and she will get just over a thousand bucks per month. 
They're both live all their lives in Canada, so uh, for all the security is important this number. So 40 is the highest number of uh, years of Canadian residency that you have to have in order to receive full all day security. And this form is uh, prepared for all the staff, such as all the Canadian uh, other Canadian pensions or foreign pensions, they don't have any, they won't have any employment insurance, uh, they won't have any uh, interest, they don't have any other investments, no Canadian uh, dividends or foreign dividends, no capital gains, no rental income, they don't plan to work, they won't have any employment income, no self-employment income. They do have registered investments, they do have RRSPs, and based on what they have and the expectations, because they expect a 4% uh, return on their investment uh, average per year. And we, I talk about this, this is a long talk. Don't trust these average guys because it just doesn't work that way. But it's a good guide to start your retirement. Then you have to look at your investments every year. So here is the, the thing. Mike will have at age 65, $72,000, and Sue will have approximately the same amount for the purpose of the illustration, and may both the same amount, just to make it easier. And, uh, and if they wait till age 70, that means if these $72,000 are not touched, and invested at 4% per year, so by age 70, they will have $87,600. And the same thing with their tax-free savings account. Uh, two, three years ago, they sold a property, they downsized it, and they invested, they, they maximized their uh, tax-free savings account. So by age 65, which is next year, actually, uh, next, uh, not this December of 2022, December of 2023, they will have $100,000 each. And the same thing as their LSP. They don't touch this money, they don't withdraw anything, and it grows at a 4% uh, per year. Uh, they will uh, have $121,000. Uh, they don't have any other cash uh, invested, no uh, deductions, no other speed deductions, nothing else. So they told me that they need uh, $4,500 per month. This is their target income. They would like to have $4,500 per month. So what happens, what, what do we do? Uh, with the RRSP and the, the tax free savings account withdrawal options. Well, they said that they want to have $4,500 per month. They said that they want their money indexed to inflation at a 2% per year. And they told me that what they, they're uh, sure that they, they can uh, get a 4% return on their investment average per year. So with this in mind, I said, well, if they have at age 65, $72,000 in RRSPs, so in order to last for 25 years at a 4% rate of return and on the withdrawals at a 2% uh, increase in income to offset inflation every year, so first year they will be able to withdraw 5% or $3,600, which is $300 per month. And if they wait till age 70, so now they will have more because this money grew at a 4%, and they will be able to withdraw more because five years and go are gone. Now the money has to last for only 20 years in order to have 25 years into retirement. So they will be able to withdraw $5,256. And the same thing applies for the tax-free savings account. This is just the analysis that I make. And with all this in mind, with all these numbers, now I need to crash, crash them down and see what happens. So we will go and draw uh, two models of retirement income. The first will be maximizing retirement income from all sources. This is what any rational mind will do. So we'll get all sources of income to try to get the maximum possible. The problem is that retirement is not rational. It's anything but rational. So let me show you why I'm saying what I'm saying. So now we have Mike retiring at age 65 and Sue is age 62. So we're planning here retirement income from January 2024 to November 2026. Because in November 2026, Sue will be 65 years old and she will qualify for all day security from then on. So now only Mike qualifies for all day security here with 40 years of Canadian residency and he will receive $666 
based on the uh, rates from July to September 2022. And these are current rates. So Canada Pension Plan will say that if they take it when they retire, when Mike is age 65, this is how much they will receive, $1,023 and 738 So being this the case, then they qualify to receive Mike will get $229, $230 bucks per month from guaranteed income supplement, and Sue will receive a small allowance, which is an extension of the guaranteed income supplement for a spouse that is between age 60 to age 64. So 188.82. So, and this is the total government pensions that they will get until uh, Sue turns age 65. So in addition to that, they're getting their $300 from their uh, RRSPs each, Mike and Sue, $417 each from their tax-free savings account, which is $5,000 per year. So they don't have any employment income, they don't have, they, they're not going to have any RRSP contributions, and the total amount of income they will get combined is $4,280 per month, which is short of the $4,500 target that they have. But let's see what happens when Sue turns age 65. So, well, now we get up to December of 2026. Sue is age 65. They're both qualified to get uh, the um, all-day security, which is they both have four years of residency. They both get maximum all-day security. They still get in today's dollars the same amount of Canada Pension Plan, now their total government pensions increases a little bit, and in today's dollars they're still getting the same amount from the uh, RRSPs and the same amount from their tax free savings account. And now as a consequence, the Sue qualifies for all the security. They finally made it to a combined income of barely over forty five hundred dollars. Okay, this is the first model, and this is what will be income for life. The $4,500 indexed to inflation. So a portion of the income, the portion of the government pensions will be directly indexed to the consumer price index and the portion of their own income, their own money, their RSPs and their tax free savings accounts will be indexed to 2%, which is what they asked me to do. So what happens if we optimize this? Now what I'm doing is I'm not being rational anymore and I'm not putting everything together. So everything, all day security, Canada Pension Plan, Guaranteed Income Supplement, the RRSPs and the Tax-Free Savings Account, they have a set of rules. If we synchronize these rules, this is what happens. So from January 2024 to November 2026, Mike is age 65, gets his all day security, but the Canada Pension Plan we will postpone it until Mike reaches age 70. We will be postponed for, uh, for five years. If we do this, and we postpone also the RRSPs, so the, now the guaranteed income supplement gets to almost 600 bucks per month for Mike, and the allowance for Sue is 1266, increased by a lot. So the total government pensions are exactly equal. This is the money that is coming from the government first five years of retirement, because you will see what happens when Sue turns age 65. So nothing from RRSP, RRSP is postponed to for when Mike turns age 70, postponed for five years, and they will be withdrawing $1,200 each from their tax-free savings account. So. Now they have a total combined income, monthly income, of $4,932. So this clearly exceeds the $4,500 per month, constantly exceeds the $4,500 per month that they need, and they're happy. But this will be for the first, actually, three years. Then in three years, Sue will be age 65. So happy birthday, Sue, she's 65, all the security will start. But we'll continue to do the same. We'll continue to delay the Canada Pension Plan and to delay the RRSPs. So the only change here is that Sue don't get any more than 1200 bucks on the allowance because she's getting the supplement and the all day security. But the total amount of income remains the same. That doesn't change at all. So 
they still getting the same thing from their uh, monthly withdrawals from the tax-free savings account and still getting the same amount of total income and this will cover five years of retirement then after five years when when mike turns age 70 now it's time for mike to mike to celebrate so they both have uh, still 40 years of retirement uh, of canadian residency of course they both receive maximum all day security now they get in their canada pension plan that is enhanced and because of this again the guaranteed income supplement disappears they don't qualify anymore but the total government, government pensions has increased a lot by a lot so now the total government pension becomes 75 percent of the total retirement income which means that 75 percent of the income is not exposed to the stock market and is indexed to inflation so you have nothing to worry about with that money and and you don't worry about any more uh, about the stock market except that you still have uh, your the uh, RRSPs, which is now a little bit higher as we saw at the beginning of the presentation and now the a tax free savings account of course they spend a lot uh, at the at front from the tax free savings account this is a lot lower but the total income is still higher now is even over five thousand dollars per month and this 75 percent of this will be indexed to inflation not exposed to the stock market and this is for the rest of their lives so this is what it designs the retirement income timeline and this is how I show the retirement income timeline. What happens? This is the uh, series of actions that they have to take. For example, in 2023, they need to apply. In January, they need to apply for all the security, the guaranteed income supplement, and the allowance. They have to make sure that that happens. And I will show you how they do this. By December of 2023, this is the retirement month. In 2024, they will have a income. The income will be coming from all the security, guaranteed income supplement, allowance, and tax free savings account. And I go on to show how the uh, timeline will work. And here is the timeline in detail, given all kinds of detail, including how to deal with Service Canada, what type of forms they need to complete. And as long as in January 2023, in December of 2023, in January 2024, December of 2026, July of 2028, and January 2029, they do why, what I specifically recommend here, and they call Service Canada when they have to call it, and they complete the form that I tell them that they have to complete, they will get their six or more than six thousand dollars more per year on the lifetime retirement income so there is no doubt about that and the advantage of optimizing the retirement income is once again more than six thousand dollars per year in additional government pensions indexed to inflation so this is indexed to inflation not exposed to the stock market go to the beach relax get your pina colada and don't worry about anything because the government is worrying for you so higher percentage of income indexed to inflation because the higher percentage of income covered by government pensions. So it's a higher limit to the CPP survival benefit. This is critical for couples because well, we don't like to talk about the death of a spouse. Nobody likes to talk about this, but this is a fact of life. And uh, once, if you take your CPP uh, earlier so you get a lower cpp payment and if you take it later in life if you take it at 70 you will get the maximum possible cpp uh, uh, payment so what happens is not only your benefit that increases increases also the ceiling for the survival benefit after the death of a spouse this is why it's so important so and once again higher total retirement income I hope I didn't confuse you too much and you enjoyed the video and if you have any questions you can or comments you can leave them below the video in the comment section or you can contact me on my contact information if you have uh, personal questions I as always I offer 30 minutes of free consultation by phone or by the Zoom meeting I always prefer Zoom meetings because it's, it's different we can share stuff and other than that guys thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed thank you for your time please don't forget to subscribe 
you're going to help me a lot and you're going to help yourself. You're not going to miss any, uh, any other videos. And I will see you soon.